what's so special about Halloween? Well, I can show you a thing. Or two. Or three. Keep watching. Hi, it's thing one. And thing two. Also known as Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. I guess you can tell we're all ready for Halloween. We're gonna work up a little uh, magic or a little trouble. A little trouble. We've got some <laughs> great Halloweens and a little special treat just for you. We have images for everything. <gasps> now that's a treat. Let's get started. Now the first one is called Delight and Halloween can really be a delight. Those kids get so excited, and when it comes to quilting, or when you see this pattern, you're going to get excited. Let me show you the Halloween fabric we have for it. Are my little bouncy balls, are we supposed to follow the, the bouncy ball? <laughs> <laughs> I can oh feel them goodness. bouncing around oh on top goodness. of my head. Let's I think we started. should bounce on into this quilt and this fabric kit. <laughs> okay, so our number one fabric, is this cute or what? That is so cute. They are so cute. They're like little picture frames with all of these different characters. Oh, yes. Just the little Halloween cartoony characters. <laughs> I, I will have to say, you know, that the uh, Dracula is kind of cute with the yeah. little things Yeah. Well, I like this little ghost couple going out Aww, for a date. Oh, they are so <laughs> cute. Okay, we're going to put this. Now, Delight is, is truly a delightful yes. pattern. It is really not hard to do. It's another one of those that kind of look like, what in the world did we do here? But it, it just gives you that illusion that you've done something really hard with this block, like this was coming out of that frame. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It is very cool. So this is our number one fabric. So everywhere you see this pink, including the border, you're going to see this cute little fabric. Mm -hmm. And then for our number two, which creates your backdrop so you can really see the other two, we're going to put it here in the number two position. Okay. It's the lightest of the next two. And that will be the perfect background for these. This is such a cute fabric. It is. It just sets a really <laughs> spooky mood. It does. <laughs> I love that. And this is going to be the perfect number three because this one, we, we refer to it a lot of times as a double focus. Mm -hmm. And these kinds of quilts where we have a block and a block, but you separate your double focus with your number two. Yep, this one's perfect. Yeah, it is great. Now, we promised you a treat and look at the screen and you will see how cute this turned out. Oh, Isn't that precious? It's so precious. I like <laughs> that. I love the way that the frames show up in the pictures. And then you also have the two, the double focus. I yep. love that. I like it. And I like that both the number three and the number one are on the border because that really adds a little extra. It does. So this one is a, a winner for sure. Yep. Now this one is called Say Boo and it's 8023269. Delight is the pattern. And it's from the book, The Magic of Three Yard Quilts. Now, if you want an alternate pattern, Pretty Please is the one we recommend. So our next treat is this quilt, which is Perfect Pets, and we have our fun kitty on this one. Now this is really fun. We've got a great big block here so we can show off some really great spooky fabric. And like I said, that fun kitty. So let's go check out our fabric. So we have some great fabric. We've got all the Halloween accoutrements here. Oh yeah. All the, the <laughs> pumpkins, the potions, the, the, the big vat of, of potion there, the moons, the cats, everything. The little witch's shoes. Oh my goodness, oh. we've just got it all right here. This is our focus fabric. It is gonna go in our big block here. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna really show off all of that. And then our number two, so fun, so That fun. is fun. So we've got our stars and our little, star burst in here and that is going to be everywhere the white is and then as a little special treat we have this great so orange and black stripe that's so cute i just love it because it goes so well with this and we're doing something really special with it you know i i just think it's so clever that you picked out this particular pattern for this fabric because that cat is going to look so cute. And show them how that orange is gonna peek through on the tail. Yeah, so this is really cool. So here's our number three, and it's gonna go where the stripe is. And this is actually kind of cut out, so you can get a little peek of the number two. That, that's what creates the tail on the kitty. And this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> it this is. is so much fun. So absolutely love it. Now, the number three is also on the border in our sashing. So it really gives us that interest that we want on those borders and that fun, fun kitty. Now, 
we have that image for you and you can see how absolutely darling that's going to turn out and what fun to have a cat quilt for halloween and you know what it's not that hard to do the raw edge uh, applique if you've no. never done it you should give it a try this is a super one it's not too hard to do and Fran did a great tutorial on applique that you'll want to check out oh yeah and it really is fun to do I know that's one of the very first things I did in quilting is a lot of applique and I it's just you can create anything and in this case we have a darling darling cat so be sure and check out that tutorial and I have to say I've told y'all this before I always did garment sewing and Fran taught me so much about quilting and I can remember the very first time I tried to do that is it a blanket stitch yes that, the, around the edge and I kept getting the V's <laughs> and I was not interested in vi victory over <laughs> anything other than that blanket stitch and she showed me just like that it was yep. the simplest little trick so that I never yep. ever got those V's again so yep. be sure to check out that tutorial yes and we do cover that so let's get the kit information on this because this one is fantastic so it is called witches night out and the number is eight zero two three two seven zero it is the perfect pets pattern from the book Quilts for Kids, also available as an individual. Now this one's called Stepping Stones, and Stepping Stones is one of our most popular patterns. Uh, it has been pinned so many times on Pinterest, we can't even keep up with how many times. It's just been a very, very popular pattern. So let's put that on the table and show you some great Halloween fabric. Now remember that we have a treat for you with every single quilt mm -hmm. kit this mm -hmm. time. So be sure to keep watching for those great images that we're going to show yeah. you at the end. And we're not tricking. We're just <laughs> treating. Just treating. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that got the little antenna going, didn't it? <laughs> okay. So this is what's so cool about this. This is going to be so cute. And I thought of it whenever we first put this up here to talk about is that uh, stepping stones and I always think about going out in the pumpkin patch you yeah. know it would be very nice if you'd had those stepping stones while you're out there in the pumpkin patch. instead of all the mud <laughs> <laughs> which sometimes happens yep <laughs> uh, but these little pumpkins are going to go in the big block here and then isn't this just wonderful you don't even necessarily recognize that this has green in it, but it does. It does. And oh, that is the, oh, I'm yes. sorry. The stems and the leaves, yeah. it's so cute. And that's the perfect fabric for the background. Now, the number two, which is your lightest, it's really gonna create a contrast, an interest, and the perfect background for making those stepping stones pop. So cute, love it. And then you've got your number three, and that is what a fun, fun black. Dramatic. <laughs> it is very dramatic. And as we always say, you want a little interest in those other mm. fabrics. So we've given it to you with a little drama there and a little vine there, and voila, that is great. you, let's look at it. <gasps> Quilt candy. Oh yeah, <laughs> eye candy for sure. <laughs> Okay, this one is so cute. Didn't it turn out cute? It's so cute. I love it. I love these pumpkins. I do too. They are very happy pumpkins. Yep. And I really like the way the black gives you that little bit of a punch in that. <laughs> okay. So this one is called the Pumpkin Ball. It's 802372. It's the Stepping Stones pattern. It's available in the book Pretty Darn Quick. So this next one that we're gonna show you with some great Halloween fabric is Happy Go Lucky. Now this one's great because it's got this big, long stretch here that you can put some really great fabric and I have something really sweet to share with you. Okay, this is a great pattern, Happy Go Lucky, to put a really great big print in. And yes. Oh, for Halloween, we have these really fun sugar skulls and the coloring on these is great. I love this black background. I do too. And you know, we, you and I were talking about this before we started taping, and I want to ask a question. Okay. And if you know the answer, could you please put it in the comments? Why are they called sugar skulls? I don't know. We didn't know why they were called sugar skulls. We knew they were called sugar skulls, but we don't know why. So if you know, put it in the comments for Well, us. it makes a really sweet quilt. So oh, yeah. <laughs> this wonderful sugar skull fabric will be our focus, and it's going to go in this big wide band here mm -hmm. on the Happy Go Lucky. And then we've got it paired with two very fun ones. So we've picked up the orange, and Ooh, what is better than it? Yes. <laughs> as little... long as they're on fabric. <laughs> 
true, <laughs> true. So this is such a nice bright number two, and I think it's going to work really well. It will go everywhere this white is in the background here of our mm -hmm. pinwheels. And then to add to the little um, creatures at Halloween, we have our spiders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's really cool is it has a little flower on this as well that picks up the flowers in Aww. our sugar school fabric. So I really like that. And this is what our pinwheels and our border will be made with. So it's gonna really pop off those bats. When can you say, that a spider will pop off a bat. Except for in quilting. <laughs> <laughs> that bat, do, do bats eat spiders? I know they're wonderful on the mosquitoes. They mm, gobble them up. Maybe. But I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know, know if they eat all insects. <laughs> We've got a lot of questions for you today. <laughs> <laughs> but this is super, super fun fabric and it makes up so darling in this pattern. We've got that treat for you of the quilt image. So let's check that out. Now we have just so much fun going on on this quilt and those sugar skulls are just great. It's a perfect size space for those mm -hmm. skulls. So I really think it turned out cute. It did. Kit information on this one. The number is 8023271. It is called Beautiful Bones and it's our happy-go-lucky pattern from the Quick and Easy book. Now if you want a pattern that makes up fast, you're gonna love rail fence. And so let's put it up on the table and we'll talk about the neat, neat fabric. I don't know how you treat Halloween, but I know my husband and I will often sit on the front porch and it's usually just a little bit cool and we hand out candy from the front porch. Mm -hmm. So a quilt and Halloween fabric is perfect oh, for that. Oh, good point. Yes. Now, that's a good point. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Okay, so whenever you're making a rail fence, it's super simple. Most of you probably already know. You just sew three strips of fabric together. You make a strip set, and then you cut it into what we call a unit or blocks. In this case, it's going to be the block, and the block is finished. So we will turn one one way. We'll turn the other the other way. We make it in two different color sections. So this is our number one fabric. It's going to go everywhere you see the flowers. And this is a batik. And you know, I haven't seen very many Halloween batiks. Mm -hmm. So this is just, it's great. It's really different. It is very different. I'm just over here petting all these spiders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the number two, this is so cute and so sweet. Aww. It's got moons and stars. It is just so sweet. And it's going to be everywhere you see the green. Very so good. that's going to do that high contrast, but it still has that gold that oh, you're yeah. picking up there. So Definitely. that's how you coordinate, one of the ways you coordinate fabrics. And then the third fabric is another really cute uh, batik. These are just so cute. They're and they're perfect for Halloween. Absolutely. And you've got the little stars, and then you've got some more gold going on here. And once again, you also have some little purple in there. Not in there. Yeah, so this is very well coordinated. And that is going to be on your borders and in the center of some of your strips. That is so, so great. And? And now for your treat. Trick or treat. Yep. <laughs> uh, itsy Bitsy Spider, and it makes me want to sing the song. <laughs> Okay, so look at this. This oh, is so cute. That and is. I really like the way the black creates a horizontal line in this quilt while the go the spiders are doing uh, both. <laughs> I love it. It turned yeah. out so cute. What a great fast Halloween project. Absolutely. That's I great. really do like that. Now, do you want to sing with me? No, but no. I do uh -huh. want to mention that I, something I just noticed is this pattern and the one that we just did, the Happy Go Lucky, uh -huh. both come from our book, Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts. That's right. Yep. And we do we have another treat for them? We do have another treat. So mm -hmm. if you get three kits, if you purchase three kits, you can bypass the small patterns and get the book. Now this book has eight patterns, which is a whole lot better than just three. That's <laughs> right, right. So extra treats and on that. And you know that it's a real treat when you get one of our books because every pattern is made with three one yard cuts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Easy peasy. We need a thing three, you know. <laughs> 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 okay, this one is called Itsy Bitsy Spider, and the kit number is 8023273. It's the rail fence pattern from the book, Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts.
So our next quilt is a Roman holiday, and we have some really fun fabric for this and something a little moody, and I think it's gonna work really, really well, and of course, we're gonna show you that in the image. So let's put it on the table. Such a great Halloween fabric. So we've got these roses, they're brown roses on black, and I think it's, it's very, very dramatic. Very, it's so dramatic. Yeah. And this is our focus. It's gonna go everywhere the black block is here on mm -hmm. our Roman holiday. Now our number two, to give us a lot of nice punch and contrast, is this gray, and it's kind of a taupey Ooh, gray. It's yeah. very pretty, and it's kind of got that rough look to it. Mm -hmm. And that is gonna go everywhere the white is. It's the perfect background. It really, really is. And then we have our black, which is very similar to our number two. Or, you know what, I say that's black. It's got a lot of black in it, but it also has some brown and some gray. And some gray, yeah. It's really perfect for this. And this is gonna be our number three. It goes everywhere you see the red. And I love how the number three, even though it reads as a solid, mm -hmm. it kind of picks up all those tones in our roses, which is really great. Yes. Really, really great. All right, let's look at the image of this one because this is really a fun quilt for Halloween. And you can see how that contrast and that pop is on there. And it gives us those moody, moody roses, which is just so fantastic. And this is another one that you could leave out all the time, especially have that monochromatic look in your home. Yep. And you want just some more drama to come in. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Kid info on this one. The number 8023274. It is called Midnight Magic. It is the Roman holiday pattern from the book Quick as a Wink. And the alternate that we're suggesting is Town Square. That was a lot of fun and Lots a lot of, of giggles, but we want to know, did you like our costumes? Do we look good with blue bouncy things on our head? <laughs> <laughs> so are you dressing up this year for Halloween? Or maybe you're making some special quilts? We'd love to hear in the comments. It's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween.